Hi there, this is Mo of Mo West Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to cut up shirts like Adam Sachs from Ed Hardy. The first thing that almost always has to go is the collar. So we're going to cut that off and remember you can always cut more but you can't cut less. So just cut right on the other side of that seam holding the collar on. And stretching is another thing that we're really going to be doing a lot of. The next thing we're going to do is decide where we want our cuts. So we're going to take some right down the middle here. In order to do that, if it's not on someone and you can't just see where the middle is, we're going to fold it in half and line up your shoulder seams and your side seams if you have them. If you don't, just line up your armholes and your shoulder seams and try and get your shirt nice and smooth like so. Then it's all about cutting little stripes into your shirt in any shape you want. So we're gonna go strip, strip right down the front about the same width until we get under the bust, then we're going to make them a little wider because we don't mind showing the belly a little bit. You want to keep them about the same distance apart, but you can just make them deeper cuts. Again, you can always cut more, but you can't cut less. also want to cut off the bottom of the shirt. And then we're going to stretch. So now I'm going to show you basic weave stitch for t-shirts. So you want to take reach underneath your first one, pull up your second one, and then pull it over so that you can pull the third one up through the second one and down. Then grab your fourth one up through your third one and just carry on like that. It's very simple. All the way, making sure you don't skip any just reach your fingers through, grab the next one, pull it up, carry it on all the way. Once you start getting towards the end, whether that's the top or the bottom, what you're going to do is bring your last one through. You can either cut it off and tie it to itself around each side or get another strip of fabric from somewhere else on the t-shirt like along the bottom. Stretch that out which will make it much longer and loop it through there and then this is going to tie around behind the neck and to do that we can make a little hole in the back here for now, we'll probably put another weave in the back and then this can attach to the top of that one and it will be glorious. But in the meantime, we will just tie it around to the back. This has been Mo of Mo West Creations. Ciao!